In the previous episodes, we explored the towns on the Buru Greg riverbanks, Saleh and Rabat. We fell enchanted with their hidden secrets and waited like the old day pirates for the weather opportunity to cross the river entrance and sail into the Atlantic. The day finally came and after moving to the police departure dock for formalities, we followed the pilot boat down the river towards the breakwaters. Passing all the little blue wooden boats we had become used to use and see daily and catching a final glimpse of the old Kashfa overlooking the passing boats. As we approached the inner breakwater, we held our breaths. We had been having problems with our engine when in rough waters since leaving Portugal months before, and we could see that the waves in between the inner and outer breakwaters were still quite large. We prepared ourselves, but luckily the engine only choked for brief seconds. The moment we were out of the danger zone, we set up sails, collected defenders and sailed to our course. With the sails set to course, we settled to what would be our life for the next three days. The boat healing up to 30 degrees, the wind on the beam reach perfectly at 90 degrees to the side of the boat, winds blowing around 20 to 24 knots and waves up to 2 to 3 meters. We stared at the deepest blue seas we had ever seen. We were sailing in a straight line for three days. Other than the odd cargo ship passing by, only the visit of dolphins broke the daily routine. Over there in the front. It's okay, Ella. It's dolphins! Unfortunately, this one dried out on the deck, otherwise we would have had it on the grill. And Ella, what can we say about Ella? She found her non-slip spot and lays the days away. We trolled the fishing line for days and finally, on the last night, John caught his first fish. A mahi-mahi that we ate on the following days. After three days of continuous sailing from Rabat, Morocco, we arrived to Madeira Islands, Portugal, almost 500 nautical miles into the Atlantic Ocean. This was the longest passage we have ever done, just the two of us, on our new yacht, together with our golden retriever, Ella. 